Great. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to this week's episode of Tracy's Tuesday Talks. I am your hostess, Tracy Latona, with Golden Rose Financial Coaching. I'm so glad you're here. Please take a moment to like, subscribe, and share the YouTube video that you are watching. And please share that with your friends to help people break the cycle of living paycheck to paycheck and crushing money stress. I wanted to take a moment and share this week's topic of mental health, the foundation of your four walls. And we'll dig into what that means, but just wanted to pause here real quick and share with you that uh, mental health is something that is so near and dear to my heart. I'll be vulnerable here. I have been in intense therapy since May of last year, so almost a full year, uh, going through a process called EMDR to help rewire the brain from trauma. This includes money trauma as well. Yes, financial coach here with money trauma, still working through that, but that's okay. And this is for the people who are on the fence about therapy, who are considering whether or not they can afford therapy, or maybe they are seeing a therapist. But what do you do when Murphy comes knocking and kicks you in the teeth? And you look over your budget and you're having to make some, some cutbacks and that, that dollar sign is what you see first. I'll admit that I've been there myself when things have gotten tight. It's, it's easy to be like, oh man, I can just skip a session or maybe I can take a, a brief pause. Um, I've even had clients who, as soon as they sign on for coaching, lost their job. And they said, well, I guess I can't see my therapist anymore. I want to tell you mental health is the foundation for financial wellness. Yes, the budget is a foundation. That's the practical side. But if you do not have good mental health, if you are not well on the mental health front, the security that being able to raise your four walls is not going to be very effective. So let's backtrack a little bit. What are the four walls? As a reminder, the four walls are food and medication. We're talking um, transportation, so that's gas, that's insurance, not your car payment, that's debt, that would be at the end of um, your budget. Uh, we're talking utilities, so making sure that your electric bill, your water, um, if you have like a home-based business, making sure internet's paid, and then the last, thing is housing, rent, mortgage, that kind of thing in that order. So food comes first, food and medications come first, followed by transportation to be able to get to work, followed by utilities, and then followed by your housing. So what do you do if you have enough money to like cover some of the basic bills but not enough to cover some of the extras. Well, of course you wanna go through the needs versus wants piece. And I strongly encourage you, as you're going through your budget, as you're going through the list of what your expenses are, if things are super tight, keep therapy on the list. Keep your counseling on the list, please. If you are not mentally well, if you don't have somebody to come alongside of you and help encourage you and help work through some things that are preventing you from being where you need to be to be well, it's not gonna matter that your rent gets paid. It's not gonna matter as much that you can put food on the table because the stress and the anxiety and the frustrations and the money traumas are just going to keep on coming and your brain is going to feel stuck in survival mode if you do not keep up with that counseling or with that therapy. It is so important. I know this from personal experience. I have been in a position to where it was really, really tight, literally just depending on God from day to day. Okay, God, you put food on the table. Thank you. We got to eat today. Okay, God, thank you so much that we were able to pay our mortgage. Okay, God, thank you so much for being able to like pay our utility bill. Like 
things were that tight where it was like full total submission and reliance on God. And it was really scary to make that choice of, do I start therapy? Because I know that I've got some money trauma going on. I know I've got a lot of issues from the past that are manifesting in the present and creating other issues in my marriage, in our finances, with my friends and my business. I wasn't well. I wasn't able to help people and serve people from a place of healing myself. It was a continual cycle of stress and anxiety, that hamster wheel, the paycheck to paycheck process. And I can give a testimony. First of all, God to give credit and glory to God. But the hard work that therapy did to help be able to create where I am now, even if things are tight still, sometimes they can be, it comes from a place of it's going to be okay. We've been through this before. I can trust God. My head and my heart are aligned. Whereas before my head knew that I could trust God, but my heart was like, ah, we're not going to save. Therapy should stay on the list if you need to make cutbacks. So what do you do if you have to make that choice? Like if it's literally down to I can cover my four walls. I know I need therapy, but it's not free or cheap or inexpensive to invest in yourself. I want to give you three options. The first is if you're already seeing a therapist, tell them what's going on. Tell them, hey, things are pretty tight financially. Do you have a sliding scale available for the meantime? Or is there a break? Um, to where I can make up once the money comes back flowing again, comes flowing in again. I've had a client who, um, the one that I mentioned earlier, lost his job as soon as he said yes to coaching and thought that therapy was going to have to be the first thing to go. I said, no, keep seeing your therapist. We will figure this out. Um, his therapist was like, hey, I'll do a couple of free sessions. Not saying that everyone will do that, but typically your therapist wants you to see well, wants you to be well and has options available. The second thing is something that other clients of mine have used. There are colleges and universities out there that allow their students to get the practicum or the hands-on hours that they need, the counseling hours that they need to graduate by offering um free or significantly reduced therapy to the public. So if you were to contact a university that offers therapy, all you have to do is just Google colleges near me that have a therapy program and be like, hey, does this college offer reduced or free therapy? What'll happen is you will be paired with a student who has gone through all the classroom portion. They know what they need to know. They just need to be able to put that into practice and you'll have therapy that way. These students are overseen by a licensed therapist and teacher. So you're basically getting two therapists, two sets of eyes versus just one, and usually at a significantly reduced and sometimes free price. I know Campbellsville University in Kentucky goes the free route. They're a Christian college that offers biblical counseling. The third option would be using a program like BetterHelp. No, I'm not being sponsored to say that, but I have talked to people who have used BetterHelp. And typically it's about half the price of what an in-person therapist would charge. And it's a great way to um, still meet with somebody virtually who can help you work, you work, help you work through the things that you want to work on. So what do you do? Murphy comes knocking. You're going through your list and you're seeing, oh my gosh, I have this big expense or, oh my gosh, I know I need help. I'm sick of feeling anxious or depressed, or I know I've got trauma I need to deal with, or I know I've got some things that are affecting other areas of my life, but it, the, 
the price of it is a little bit of a sticker shock. I encourage you to stick with it. I encourage you to continue your journey of becoming well as you are going through the financial stress, as you're going through when things seem hard. I can attest from personal experience, it is well worth it. The emotions, the frustrations, the way that my marriage was hurting when we were in a tight financial spot before therapy versus where we are now, like there's a night and day difference. I'm not losing my mind. I'm not driving my husband crazy. It feels so much better. My head, what I know is aligned with my emotions. And that my friends is worth being well. If you are stressed about finances, if you are on that hamster wheel of paycheck to paycheck, or maybe you're not quite sure how to handle your money God's way, then I encourage you to sign up for a complimentary financial coaching conversation. We'll go through where you're at, where you want to be, how to get you there. And if you would like somebody to walk with you through your financial journey, it would be an honor to talk to you about what that would look like. All right, guys, I hope this was helpful for you. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you next week. Have a blessed day.